hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is minx kinks and yes i'm on here looking crazy yes i have on jammies yes i am filming late night mm -hmm. it's only like eight o'clock but you know so um today we're getting into a two-fold type of video so we're revisiting a product that I used to love and then we're revisiting a product that I used to hate so the product that I used to love is the as I am leave-in conditioner from their original collection and then the product that we're revisiting that I used to hate is also from as I am the original collection this is the double butter cream so we're gonna get into this product combo today um, it's been a very, 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 very long time since I pulled out these products. So I'm excited to get into them and see how they work out on my hair. Um, the leave-in is maybe about like right here. So it's still a full bottle of the leave-in. But as for the double butter, yeah. So let me go ahead and section my hair off and then we'll get into applying the leave-in and all of that. This is what my hair looks like. I did a quick deep conditioning, maybe like 45 minutes. Um, just because like I said, it is um, a weekday and it is a late night. So I'm gonna section my hair in three sections today. Just the two in the front and then one big one in the back. I did already do my middle part. Y'all know I'm trying to avoid side parts right now because my hair is going through a situation. But yeah, y'all, I'm actually excited to get into the As I Am products because I really do have a good bit of <laughs> As I Am products, actually. So um, I have a couple co-washes. I have products from what was their pomegranate line. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's the one in the red packaging. I know I have the co-wash. I know I have the twist and cream. I know I had a leave-in. Ciao. Um... <laughs> y'all i'm such a product junkie but yeah so um and then i actually do have a couple other stylers i know i have the twisting queen cream from the original line never tried that and then i have the new jamaican black castor oil one as well so i'm just gonna section um these back quadrants i think i'm gonna do in four i think um, just to apply the leave-in and then I'll do twists from there. I plan on leaving these in a good good chunk of time. Alright y'all and y'all know that as I am is pretty affordable and they are on the ground in a lot of like drugstores, convenience stores. So you can pretty much find as I am anywhere. So I'm going in first with the leave-in conditioner and it says it's made with the extracts of coconut, amla, sugar beetroot, green tea, Saw palmetto, lemon, apple, sugarcane, and it goes on. It claims to keep tangles away and provides a great foundation for natural styling. That's a great way to put that. Nice foundation. It beautifully seals cuticles, boosts shines, and prepares hair for styling. Hydrates and softens, helps prevent styling products from flaking and hardening upon hair when used prior to um, styling gels and creams. Apply liberally through your hair after shampooing or co-washing and gently detangle hair. Okay. Um, I love the directions. It's a short and sweet way to put it. Um, it's an 8 fluid ounce, so standard size. Okay. And it's a it's a more liquidy type of leave-in, y'all. So that's what it looks like consistency-wise. Huh. So, it smells really, really good too. Okay. So, consistency wise, I would say it's like slightly thicker than um, Frizz Whiz. But it feels really, really good. And I'm not applying any water right now and I really don't plan on applying product with the double butter like I said it's just late so I don't want to um have my hair too too wet I'm just going in with more leave-in and then since I am using the double butter I'm not going to sew my hair with oil today because I'm going in with a butter so I don't really feel like there's much of a need to 
but upon application of the leave-in on um not even soaking wet hair it feels really really good but i know that i wouldn't have to use as much on soaking wet hair so i think i am going to grab my spray bottle and i'll dampen my hair a bit um but get into that that's just with the leave-in so let me grab one of my more looser sections so we can see how that one works okay y'all so i grabbed one of my sections in the front and as you guys can see it's a lot less dense and it's a looser curl pattern so i'm just going ahead and spraying it down so that um my hair will be able to actually like drink in the product of course getting out any shed hair if you have any and then let's apply so for this section i don't need to go in with as much I really like the consistency I like the smell on these products too I think that um, a lot of like natural hair products have so many different smells and chow okay like ugh. everything does not have to be overly scented and this though it has a scent it's like soft it's clean yeah y'all the shine the shine and my curls are starting to to pop a little bit so this this leave-in is applying very very well as for the moisture um it feels like a lighter moisture but i think that that's what they said on the on the jar to on the bottle too is that it's the foundation this isn't going to be um i don't think it has claims to be you know uber moisturizing so which i'm not mad at because every leave-in i have doesn't need to be um od moisturizing so yeah y'all i'm gonna go ahead and just keep applying my leave-in conditioner and then i'll be back and we'll do a couple twists with the um double butter cream but i'm just gonna go ahead and keep applying this leave-in for now and i will be back okay you guys so i am back and let me tell you this was actually a super super smooth and easy application process yeah yeah I like her I like like really like her and I told y'all that was a product that I really did enjoy um and I uh, hello I remember why now that was that was really good really really easy um I know I've talked about my feelings with as I am in at least another video um I feel like as I am is one of those beginner brands that most of us forget about but yeah my hair actually does feel pretty good um it's one of those that i feel like it definitely needs something on top but um it does feel really really good so it's definitely right about as clean and being a good base so i think i'll have about three twists in this section that's what i'm gonna do and then let's go ahead in with this double butter so it claims to be a rich daily moisturizer with cocoa butter, shea butter, castor oil, jojoba, blah, 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 blah. A lot of good ingredients. It had something on the side there, y'all. But as you guys can see, I've had this jar for a long time. So the label's starting to scratch off. But on the back, it does say, give your hair what it's asking for. The moisture needed to feel and look amazing. Moisture is essential for great natural coils and curls when your hair is feeling a bit rough and dry and looks that way too. This is the jar to reach for. The double buttercream gets the job done. This fabulous favorite is a rich emollient blend graced with the finest array of natural butters and organic oils. In addition to outstanding moisturizers, it contains pro vitamin B5 known as panthenol to help repair split ends and strengthen your hair. Um, directions say to apply sparingly or liberally depending on your hair's need for moisture manageability and vitality rub within your hands and scrunch into hair gently so that your coils and curls um are oh until it's distributed may also be used to set soft luxurious twist and twist out and that's what i'm doing today we're going to use this as a twist out styler I guess <laughs> and as I showed you guys in the beginning I really don't have much of this product left at all which is part of the reason why I wanted to pull it out because a this product needs to go um, I've had it for a ungodly amount of time but also um there's just not much left in it so um I was actually thinking about going in with my tangle teaser but honestly I don't really think it's 
necessary so i am gonna spray my hair down just a bit more because i want my hair to really be able to soak in this butter so um yeah that leave-in spreads really really well um and it's definitely a lighter weight type of moisture but good nonetheless so this double butter cream is thick for sure so i just went in with this much just to see how how it goes on i don't know <laughs> but it does melt down pretty nicely so and y'all i don't know why but i feel like this product after i transitioned this is like my second or third bottle i really really um did like it and then my hair just did not like it all of a sudden so um this is uh one of my repurchased jars it melts down actually really really nicely um but yeah it just stopped working on my hair y'all so it's time to use her up and like i said i'm just doing some regular regular schmegular twist today i actually really want this style to be a puff but um it all depends on how my curls turn out um because if it's cute enough to wear down honey i'll be wearing it down and then it'll be in a puff later on in the week all right y'all so the first twist um it feels pretty good but as y'all can see it's a cute little juicy plump twist i am gonna dust my ends because my ends are just not doing the best <laughs> Um, but yeah, it did feel pretty good. Um, you can definitely feel the moisture going in. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do two more twists back here. Just some cute little chunky twists because I'm not trying to be here all night. I got to work in the morning. Um, but yeah, it does feel pretty good so far. And I'm spraying my hair just enough so that it will be damp so that it'll really be able to soak in this butter and though this is pretty thick in the jar it does melt down pretty well in your hair so i don't feel the need to use a ton i'm going in with just about this much and it spreads down really easy and it is pretty emollient in the sense that it'll just soak right into my hair at least but y'all know my hair eats products up no matter what section of hair it is um but yeah it actually does feel really good going on and i think that the double butter and the leave-in really complement each other because what the leave-in lacked um moisture wise it's not like a super heavy leave-in like i was saying um the double butter really comes in and secures that moisture so the first twist is looking pretty pretty good so yeah y'all i'm literally gonna just go ahead and twist up my entire head i'll be leaving these twists in for a couple days because i don't have anything planned to do so this will be um this has been my new normal leaving them in for a couple days because i usually don't go anywhere so yeah um i'm just gonna do that and yeah i will be back whenever i take my hair out my hair is dry i might come back and show you guys the twist Chow, i need another clip because i don't even know where this section is at anymore but yeah y'all <laughs> oh my goodness but yeah y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and keep twisting up my hair um and i will be back of course to let you guys know how it turns out what the moisture feels like i might come back and show you guys what my hair looks like all twisted up and everything not 100 percent sure but i'll be back okay y'all so i'm back and the twist in the front are twisted to the or clipped up to the back because y'all know the wet hair on me is <laughs> oh but this is what the twist are looking like and they are shrinking up pretty nice they feel very very plump and um juicy so i really like how the twists feel um this product obviously doesn't have any hold it didn't claim to have any hold i didn't expect it to have any hold it claims to be a daily moisturizer no more no less and my hair does feel moisturized so um like i said i want to wear my hair in a puff this week so i want it to be big and frizzy esque so i'm excited to see how it turns out but as for now i'm going to just let these air dry until they dry and um yeah i'll see you guys when i take the twist down okay you guys so i am back and these are my final results get into the pub get into the pub i mean i gotta tilt my head down so that we can get the entire puff in here honey okay okay get in 
get into it get into the face get into the fit okay y'all so i'm actually about to head out but i wanted to come through and let you guys know my final thoughts let me take these glasses off because i'm not feeling the glare okay boom sorry about the glare y'all but y'all had to see the whole fit in its entirety okay get into it so let's talk about these as i am products so y'all know i first went in with the leave-in conditioner and um that is what the leave-in looks like and i'm about here on the leave-in now i really honestly didn't use that much and my verdict stands on the leave-in i really still like the leave-in it's it's definitely a primer like it says on the um packaging it's definitely a primer it's not like a super super heavy moisture it reminds me almost of like an elevated frizz whiz um for me frizz whiz didn't have the moisture that i needed i like the slip i like the application and it's very similar to this but i think that this has more it has more of a punch to me and this is literally like half the price of frizz whiz so um, on the claims, it says it'll keep tangles away and provide a great foundation for natural styling. The foundation part for surely keeps frizz or keeps knots and tangles away. Mm, I mean, maybe because it, it just glides on. Um, I did have a lot of shed hairs that were just coming sliding right out. So maybe, I guess maybe a little bit. And then it says it hydrates and softens. My hair feels hydrated. My hair is 100, 100, 100 percent soft helps prevent styling products from flaking i can't say that for sure because i used this with another product from the line so and it wasn't even a styler it was a moisture butter so i can't say that for sure so yeah i actually do really really like this um and i'm excited to use up the rest of the bottle because i i have some interesting combos i think i want to try this one with and then moving into the product that i wasn't so much of a fan of and that's the double butter cream the rich daily moisturizer and as y'all can see, my packaging is all beat up. But y'all, ain't nothing left in there. I'm going to actually have to use it like on top of the leave-in just for a little extra razzle-dazzle. Because this isn't enough to go on like my entire head. I'm just going to have to smooth this on in big clumps and hope for the best. So um, this is actually a super, super moisturizing cream. Um, and what I really liked about this product is that unlike a lot of like harder thicker shea butter moisturizers this was super easy to apply when you rub it down into your hands it really does get very emollient and it just soaks right into your hair and that's something that i can absolutely appreciate what i will say about this product is that i feel like this product is overpriced now i can't tell y'all the last time i bought this product but i remember the big jars of this were like 22 dollars, and for me for me I'm not paying $22 for a moisturizer, so I would buy it again if I caught it on sale or something. But as as for me paying full price, um, that's a no for me. But I actually really did like the product, so I'm glad that I did go ahead and revisit it because this combination together was really good. And I think that if I put a styler on top, like if I put a foam on top of this, y'all, y'all, I bet money it would be just chef's kiss. So let's see what else this says it would do. Honestly, when I was reading the packaging, it really just says that it's supposed to um, retain the moisture and add moisture to your hair. And I can honestly say that it does that. Um, my hair feels really, really good. Um, there's a healthy little shine to it. And my hair is super, super soft, which I really can appreciate. And I was able to achieve my puff. Y'all know that since my hair has gotten longer, it's a little bit more tricky for me to get my hair into a puff now because it usually hangs down into my face. But um, with these products, I was actually able to achieve that. So I'm really grateful because it, it did what it needed to do. So as I am, these are pretty good products. I'm really, really glad I pulled these out of my stash because... I'm, I'm pretty pleased and I would I would use them again and now I'm interested in trying to rest them at as I am stash so yeah y'all that is the end of this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it and definitely comment down below and let me know if you've used either of these products or if these are like staples in your collection I know that a lot of people feel that as I am was one of those like beginner natural brands and a lot of us haven't looked back but let me know let me know I'm very curious to know so I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.